What's up guys and welcome back to the video. So this video is gonna be different. I'm not trash talking. I'm, I might put on the headband just, just for fun, just if I wanna look good. Uh, but essentially, I'm just gonna play, I do some more drafts. I was looking back last year, I used to do drafts every single day and I low key kind of miss doing them. I, I had a lot of fun with this stuff. I love the trash talker stuff. Uh, and I kinda wanted to leave this to a comment question. If you guys want me to start doing like more drafts, not necessarily less of the trash talker videos, but just more of me kinda just playing, drop a like on this video. That'll give me a good indication if you guys wanna see that. Uh, the comment question of the day is actually gonna really help me with my content. So please just put hashtag trash talker or hashtag normal. Like I said, I enjoy getting on the mic. That's my favorite thing in the world. I do not want that to go away, but I'm just curious what you guys want with my content. Today, we can only draft players on teams that have never won a Super Bowl. Now, this is crazy, but there is a lot of teams in the NFL, I didn't even realize there was this many, that have never won. You have the Tennessee Titans, Oh, that hurts. Obviously, the Titans have never won a Super Bowl. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, the San Diego Chargers, so they're on the rise. They could definitely do some damage today. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Minnesota, no, Philadelphia Eagles. This is an old list. Eagles obviously have won now. Minnesota Vikings, Jacksonville Jaguars, Houston Texans, Detroit Lions, Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals, Carolina Panthers, Buffalo Bills, Atlanta Falcons, and the Arizona Carls. All of those teams have never won a Super Bowl. If you guys are a fan of those teams, let me know because that, that's who my team. I'm actually curious. Comment down below also uh, who you guys are a fan of. So first round of the draft, I got to go ahead and pick my coach. As you can see right here, I got to go with Anthony Lynn. He's San Diego Chargers, uh, faithful alumni. Uh, but overall, guys, let's go. Okay, so here we got, I, I have them kind of remember. So Arizona Cardinals, uh, Buccaneers are not on there. I think the Buccaneers, yeah, the Buccaneers won one with Gruden. Um, here, I got to go with Chandler Jones. He's the best option. And he's on the Arizona Cardinals, so that's not a bad pick whatsoever here. I got to go with my boy, Delaney Walker. You know I love him. You know I love Delaney Walker. Uh, we got Vince Williams on the stairs. They're not one on one this year. But uh, uh, the 49ers, they've obviously won one. And then you have the Chiefs, who is have also, uh, it appears, yeah, the Kansas City Chiefs have won a Super Bowl. So this round, I just, I can pick genuinely whoever I want. Uh, but anyways, let's go with me. I'm back in school now, guys. I'm chilling. Uh, I'm back. Like, you, you see, like, how my location changes all the time. This means that I'm back in school. Uh, I'm finishing my final year. I actually graduate at the end of this year, which is super exciting. I honestly, I can't wait. Can't wait to see what the next step in my life is going to be. I'm hoping I'm moving to Toronto uh, and kind of, like, getting Blue Jays season tickets, Raptors season tickets, a bunch of stuff like that. Kind of pursuing some of my lifelong dreams. All of these guys have won a Super Bowl, so I'm going to go ahead with the pink Jordy Nelson because I think that's a pretty cool card. Uh, Detroit Lions, Matthew Stafford. Then you got Alex Smith, and then you got Donovan. McNabb. Now, I believe the Detroit Lions have not, as far as I know, the Detroit Lions have not. The Eagles obviously did last year. So we're going to go ahead and take Matthew Stafford, Max Unger, Larry Warford. We got two Saints on here and an Eagle. Uh, the Saints have obviously won and so the Eagles. So I'm just going to take whoever I want. I'm going to go ahead and take Mr. Max Unger. Also in the games, everybody, I kind of like, today I just want to talk and like hopefully, like I know you guys might be better than me. Like, I, I completely understand that a lot of you guys might be way better than me at this game. And, like, if, if you want to just ignore it, but I want to, for the players who might not be as solid, might not be as good, I want to use my time in the games to kind of take you guys through my reads. Almost have, like, a film room type thing where every single play I'm kind of going through what's going on in my head, how I'm reading the defenses, and how I plan to win. Uh, here you see the Arizona Cardinals. Once again, they have yet to win a Super Bowl. Travis Kells. Rob Havenstein. Did the Arizona Colonels never won? I don't think they lost the Steelers. Did they not? Am I, am I going crazy? Yeah, no, they didn't. Chief 7. Uh, Ram 7. So I, I can choose, but I want to go with Larry Fitzgerald. No doubt in my mind. Okay, Tyree Kill, AJ Green. I want Tyree Kill the most. Tyree Kill has been an absolute beast. Uh, but I am going to go with the... I'm, I'm just... I'm like cross-referencing right now just because I want to make sure that I don't mess anything up. I don't want to completely make a fool of myself. Uh, the Cleveland Browns have not won. I'm going to go with Joel Batonio. Really going to try and solidify that O-line. Um, go grab a center now in Alex Max because Atlanta has also now won a Super Bowl. Jacksonville has now won a Super Bowl. I'd rather get Amos and those guys, but I didn't even want to look. I just kind of wanted him. The Redskins, I want to see. Have the Redskins won? Washington Redskins have not won a Super Bowl. Uh, or have. They, no, they have. Yeah, yeah, no. Wait, wait, wait. How many have they won? Oh, my gosh. They've won three. I am an idiot. I am an absolute All these guys have. I wanted Josh Norman anyways. Uh, and because they all have, I get to go ahead and take Josh Norman, Desmond King, we get Kenny Galladay, and we got Devin Funches. So the Carolina Panthers, I don't think they were on. I'm trying to think if they were on the list. Uh, this list was made in 2018, so all of this stuff is completely up to date. The Carolina Panthers have not won, so if you're a Panthers fan, haha, you're in the same boat as me. I know you got Cam Newton. I think you're all tough, but 
you're in the same boat as all of us. Steelers, Browns, I'm gonna go with Browns because the Eagles did win. It's crazy. I honestly was so shocked when I did this. Like when I started looking at how many teams have not won a Super Bowl. Austin Eckler, Sonny Michelle, and Latavius Murray. Okay, I'm gonna go with Austin Eckler. We got one more round remaining. Eddie George, Ed Reed, or Tim Brown here. I don't really have a choice. Ravens have obviously got that Super Bowl. They got that late in the career. Eddie George of the Titans, he is not. We're gonna go hop into the game, guys. I'm gonna do a lot of talking about just random uh, things. I'm just, I'm in a good mood. I just wanted to do a video like this because I feel like it's been so long. So let's just go play. I might not cut this video a lot. I, it might be kind of just pretty raw, which I hope you're fine with. I, I, I enjoy talking. Whoa. Did I miss an update or I have no, why is his team like absolutely, he's got like 95. I felt like my team seemed outdated. Maybe I haven't updated. I don't know if I've updated the seasons yet. Maybe you have to go in and lose, but my team was not at the same level as this team. I, I got a big time disadvantage, but it is what it is. You guys know I like to taunt. Uh, but overall, I just kind of want to talk about life football. I am. Um, I don't know if I've ever, and like like I said, this is going to be a very unedited, kind of just fun. Like if you guys, it's more, not necessarily a podcast, but me just kind of out here chilling. I'm going to take you guys through my reads as well. So first thing coming out of the game, I'm looking two safeties high. As soon as you see two safeties high, you know you most likely have some type of either a cover two or a cover four. I want to see though. So before I really like do anything too crazy, I'm just going to kind of hit him with a run. I kind of like to feel my opponent, especially when I don't have a good enough of a team. Um, I think, oh no, it's on all men, so you can't actually see that. Okay, cover two, cover four. Um, so we'll go with something a little bit short just to like get kind of the quick read. What you want to do is watch those cornerbacks. Like, I don't love, like, I'm using a different playbook than I normally would use right now. But just watch the corners. If the corners sink and, and they go way back, you, you know it's more of a cover four type look. So I can kind of see now, as soon as he's in that, that we know, okay, we got some type, something that's sort of cover four-esque. Um, he likes to bring his corners back. That was more like a kind of inverted. Uh, you saw the like kind of the halfbacks. They stay down, meaning that there's people going deep. So don't have the deep routes, kind of hit the check down. Uh, and I can kind of assume now that this is come for, even though he's bumping right there, I know that this is something short. Just just, just watch that guy. He's, he's going to dip out. See how, see how he dips out immediately? Boom. No one's guarding Jordy Nelson. That's easy money every single time right there. So now... Ideally, if we see him start flipping stuff around, so like you see now, this safety on this side is a little bit more chill, which means we most likely have a cover three. I'm gonna run it. I just want to watch and see what we, he kind of gives us uh, when we run. But if we have a cover three, then we can do something totally different. Plays to beat stuff like cover three. A lot of these crosser routes. You see these people all the time running like four verts crosser. Look right here. He's back in his cover four defense. Like literally, I can't hit green because there's gonna be someone right there. So green, green's route is pretty much a wash. Fitzgerald, I ha I have a chance at. Oh no, I see. See, I had Fitzgerald wide open. I just didn't throw. It. Dang it! Gotta gotta throw that ball early. Yup, got him. Let's cover three, baby. Let's cover three. You can't do that against me. You, you just can't. So he's he's kind of like he got that one side, which was cool. But I've been able to kind of bounce back, dice him. Now he's playing everybody up. Playing the run, see that he just moved back, now he's in the cover three defense. I don't love cover three in the red zone, if I'm being brutally honest with you. I, I really genuinely don't. Um, it's not the easiest one to beat, and if I want to beat it, you almost want to get into like a five wide type situation and have like a wheel, a post, something that you know can be. See, right now he's running the cover three. So on this left side, he's got two people that got to cover all three of these routes. So one of these guys, whether it be Amaro, Walker, or Fitzgerald, one of these guys mathematically should be wide open. And if not him, you got the easy check down to Jordy Nelson. Bub bam, four for five, 77 yards to start off the I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling a little bit wavy. I'm feeling a little bit, ah. I, I, I haven't played in a long time where I haven't been talking to someone. I haven't had to mess with someone the entire time. Using random playbooks and stuff like we're using right now. He still, still hit me with zone coverage. Hasn't switched to man. Um, so assuming we can move something different and I can kind of move his defender. Like, I'd, I'd like Green to kind of take away his user. See how Green's going to take away his user. And then Nelson's going to come right underneath. If you want to run an underneath route like that, you got to have somebody go up and take away 
a lot of people like to use her in the middle linebacker. So something you have to consider is in order to get rid of the middle linebacker, you got to send people towards them. You got to get people going towards the middle linebacker. Uh, and then you can't be like, I'm running five wide this entire drive. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. It's not necessarily smart, but you can see there's going to be holes, like small, like small kind of, if Nelson can clear out here. Yeah, see, it, because Nelson cleared out and we ran with Stafford, the guy who was, that was actually kind of a crazy play. The guy who was covering AJ Green took a few steps towards me and left it open. That was a bad kick. Okay, now I'm going I'm to talk a little bit about my defense too, so you guys can see. Like I said, this is just kind of an interesting, back to weird TD Bear video where I'm just like literally just talking to you guys. Um, like I said, I'm, I graduate this year. I got lots of stuff going on. I'm uh, just certain things in my life are changing, which is for good. This is my base defense. I'm actually happy that I, I run the 4 3 over, and I also run 4 3 in a sofa. If you want to get pressure, like you want, you want to just switch coaching adjustments off, if you go 4 3 over, and you go, do they have it? Oh, I don't think I have it in this playbook. I had to pick a random playbook. No, they didn't. But my base defense essentially is just this nickel blitz too. All I do is I move the guys to whatever side of the guy's blitzing. I put these people on the outside. I take the linebacker, and you, if, when you put the linebacker in the middle like this, what that does, it actually like messes with the offensive line. So think of it in real football. It's like if someone were to go stand on the line, the offensive line now has to check them. Uh, where if you've never played real football, you don't you might not really understand what I mean. But like, as soon as they see that person on the O line, they gotta go like check 52 because he he's down. It looks like he's blitzing. They're gonna count for him, um, and he actually occupies one guy. So make make the linebacker like I used to be a safety user guy. Uh, I've converted to a linebacker user guy because of this. So check this out. I move him down. A cover two is a great defense this year. It just just for like covering everything. Like right there, boom. Good stuff. Because the safeties like. If I were to tell someone who was like beginning, like, okay, what defense should I run? Like, I, I, I'm looking for something that I can stop people and I can be aggressive, etc. I would definitely uh, recommend a cover two. This play, I almost wanted to show it just so you guys can how to stop it. This is such a popular play. Um, and man, this year, see, he was kind of a man. He switched his on. This guy's offense is so weird. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have fits or any of these people down low. Like, I, I really don't. But I, I know for a fact if I move the zones, then I'm going to have AJ Green. It's easy money stuff like that, 7 for 8 to start this game. So, okay, so now we're looking, he's still sitting in that same defense. As far as I know, George is going to be able to pull the linebackers down. Um, and I should be able to hit fifth. I don't want to get reliant on that read. I don't want to trust that read. But I, I have that read. Do you see what I mean? Keeping me honest. But, good job, Eddie. I, I rarely throw to my running backs, but <laughs> because he had, like, the perfect route there, I, uh, I had to hit him up. I want to, like, one concept that I love is his middle high-low, because it kind of, you can isolate that safety, make him pick between, like, one of these guys. So if you have time, like, okay, he just switched it up. But if you have time, you can, I think this is a cover two. And if it's a cover two, that safety is not going to be able to stay with. Oh, it was a cover four. Dang it. Yeah, I, I was thinking if that if it was a cover two, when you see, you, you're pretty much playing a guessing game when you see those two high safeties. If you see someone on the left who is a little bit like just kind of chill, and you see someone trying to do like a lot of user stuff, you might be able to get away with uh, with something pretty cool. Let's see, you know what? Let's just take take Nelson, take Nelson. Out of what? Okay, timeout. See, it's it's tough because I, I want to show you guys some more like cool stuff and more like just natural like. But he's just running such simple concepts. It's not really like, I'd say it's not challenging me, but like it's very like this is this is pretty back to basic stuff. Like he is running good defenses. Like here, I don't. I normally would probably run this ball, but I, I want to show off the high ball. There we go. Yeah. How to do a high ball? You hold L1, you press the button up, and I'm gonna call a timeout here actually because I think I should go for two just to get up that get up by those two possessions. Um, but you hold the button up, you hold L1, and that'll actually throw a high pass, which all that is, like, really simply, just exactly how it sounds. He just throws the ball up high in the air, just kind of like this. I don't know if I'll get it. You just see how he just throws the ball high up in the air? It gives big-time receivers, if you do draft big receivers, a better chance. And it's just, it's a huge advantage. If you can do it correctly, like, it, it can be absolute money. Like, it, it, it's beastly to make someone just give up. Yeah, that's us. Oh, my gosh. See, he's throwing... 
That was a high pass. He just did, he just beat the cover too, but I wouldn't say he beat it. He didn't have a concept that really got him wide open. He just threw it up there with Chris Carter. Those throws don't bug me because like he's not gonna be able to hit those ten times in a game. Like maybe like twice in the game, but ten times like not more than once. Um, I'm gonna continue to send the same pressure. I don't really think a lot of people there'll be one play against their like base defense that'll be solved and they'll automatically just like jump off a cliff and they'll just be like, you know what, I can't run this anymore. No, don't if you if you have something that works and you're confident in it, run it. Like just keep going with it. I'm probably doing the exact same thing, but like in general here, I'm gonna run a man look with just some zones, some mental zones, just to like try and get into his head. Is gonna be like my main Yeah. Come back for it, come back. Oh my gosh. What kind of V? Okay, we got a game though. I'm excited because we're gonna get one more drive on offense. We can, we, can dice, we get to dissect this dude one more time. Are you kidding me though? He just got that? Respect. This guy isn't a bad player whatsoever. That was, that was a nice throw in the last draft. Like, all, all power to him, man. Like, right there, he's not aggressive, so I have to sit in the pocket. He, he's not aggressive, so. 14 for 17, 166 so far, but because he just chills there. I stay in the pocket if he gets the speed rush animation which is where they kind of blow by you and like stuff like that like yeah I don't see any safety help I don't know for sure if this is a thing but like yeah no he got through there respect that, that, that was like kind of an in gap blitz I'm not looking at this as three down territory I'm looking at this as uh as four down territory so like I'm fine if I get like five yards on something like I'm not looking for everything in, in, in one play but I, I have it though so. good concept good route and good job Lenny Walker beautiful now Nelson moved him out perfectly uh, he ran a similar kind of defense to what I was hoping he would um, so yeah but there I honestly I would have taken a five yard a lot of times on like third and ten a lot of people are just trying to hit the full thing I usually take like shorter throws now he's using in that defensive end which is a questionable move. Pass lead low, Jordy Nelson out of boy. Let's go. Just see, yep. High ball. Let's go, AJ Green. Easy money. Same cover two. Same cover two screen play. Oh my gosh. I'm done. I, I'm honestly, I gotta go to sleep. Did you see what happened to my user there with Deion Jones? Oh my gosh. Do I really gotta do this to this guy one more time? One more time. One more time we gotta do it. The nine, normally it wouldn't pass here, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta, sometimes, fellas, you just gotta put the game on ice. I'm telling you, this is, this is how I, I usually like, second down is not a bad, because people just kind of assume you run. So that middle stuff, if they blitz those linebackers, that middle area is completely wide open. Honestly, I might even throw again here. You, just, if I, if I know for a fact, that I, that I got a dot that I, that I got somebody this is why like if I were to say one thing don't sit in zones all day like don't because zones are easy to just kind of you can just throw around zones. you there's easy outlets to get rid of the ball against zone coverage like if you, if you have time in the pocket if, if you're gonna play zone have pressure at least like that, that's the one thing I would say if you, if you play zone you have to have someone rushing the quarterback if you give someone time in zone coverage they, they can just they'll dial it up man. They'll, just, they'll call the line and they will dial it up and like it, it's game like there's nothing you can do about it good game fellas hey I, I just want to have fun I'm, I'm uh this video, I went with like a, kind of a different way than I went in a super long time. I don't remember last time I made a video like this, um, where I was just kind of chill. I just wanted to talk to you guys about reads. I want to talk to you about stuff. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like down below. Uh, and I can do more stuff like this. I'm not the greatest man in the world, but I like to think that I can ball out a little bit against some pretty good competition online. 76% uh, throwing, 2 for 3. I'm undefeated in my online franchise right now. I will think I 78% completion percentage. 20 for 26, 3 touchdowns to 1 interception. I'm happy with it. This guy had a previous in game, but didn't quite have it. God bless you guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.